What's up fellow Earthlings and welcome back to another episode with Austin Hustler Hires. That's me if you didn't know and today is the first day of being open in the Rage Room. Currently my company Let It Go Junk Removal is out doing their one junk removal we have for the day. It's been a slow week. I don't know what to say. It just happens like that. And I am sitting in the Rage Room. We just arrived. It's about 7.30 I would say and I got my price gun off of Amazon that was shipped out and delivered yesterday so now I can finally go through and price everything on the day that we're open. <laughs> we're running a little bit behind on getting everything priced but that's okay because this stuff up front is just extra money, extra income. We really, we really are going to make most of our money from the actual rage time which starts at 5 o'clock. We'll be raging from 5 to 8 p.m. and we'll see if we're going to change that in the future. We may we may raid from 5 to 10 p.m. so we can have a full five hours. It seems like people want to come in around 8 o'clock so that means that maybe people want to come in a little later as well. We'll find out. Let's go ahead and get started with the day. I'm going to start pricing right now. Let's go. Okay so first things first guys if you've never seen a price gun before this is what one looks like. It's probably the least expensive one you can get on Amazon. Click the button like that, sticker pops out the front, and you just swipe it on, and we have $7.50. So I can actually adjust the pricing right here by pulling this knob to the number and just spinning it. Kind of like how a watch works when you're changing the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to uh, the price I need for each item. I'm gonna probably start with this uh, dresser set right here, the lamp, the mirror, the couple things and that vase hanging on the wall. And then I'll move on to our shelving system over there. Let's go ahead and get started. So after about 45 minutes of pricing, I am now done pricing everything on these shelves. And the other day we actually priced all of the clothing here. So um, this whole clothing rack has been tagged and priced and this whole shelf has been tagged and priced. We got prices on those dressers, on that lamp, we got prices on this bike, we got prices on these couches and that table over there, got a price on this recliner. Uh, so just some examples guys, I'm actually going to try to sell this bike for about 35 bucks. Uh, I've got a crossbow over here, I'm going to sell that for like 75, it's worth like 100. Um, we've got a bag that is worth about 25 bucks, I'm selling it for. Yeah. So. This cup right here sells online for about $25 to $29. We have three of those cups and basically a whole set of the blue wear down, uh, the blue, what do you call that? Yeah, whatever it is. Cups, plates, wine, <laughs> wine cups. The whole set's for $95 when one cup sells for like $29. So that'll be a good deal for whoever wants to come in and get that. Um, this couch over here, the suede couch I'm selling for, I have 195 bucks on this suede couch. It actually folds down like a futon so you sleep on it. Um, this table with a mirror I'm selling for $45. This couch over here I'm selling for $275. And uh, you know, we'll be negotiating a little bit if people act like that's too high of a price. I may come down a little bit for them. So I priced everything like a high-end resale store. So this is not going to be like a thrift shop up front. It's going to be a high-end resale store. We want to have high-end, nice quality products here and not, not really goodwill stuff. Um, this picture on the wall right here is really cool. It's a tiger picture and it's made out of like different pieces of wood. Get a close-up of that. See it's all different cutouts of wood and it's handmade by uh, some dude that I used to live next to when I was living with my mom. I'm going to sell that for $45. Uh, we have these knives in this case down here. We got knives, magazines, Pokemon cards. I've got X-Men collectible cards here and we're going to be selling all that stuff. I haven't priced it yet so I'm going to go ahead and price the stuff in the glass case. Over here I've got a couple of BB guns, um, giant bullet, that big old round thing. That's actually a big like bullet round from, I don't know, a ship or something like that. And the same thing with that tall one back there. We've got a grenade uh, that's been drilled out so it's not live. And some sunglasses, some old World War II memorabilia. So we got some cool stuff in here. I also bought this. 
Um, this is not something that I found at a uh, at a junk removal or anything. I actually bought this whole stand for about 150, and we plan on selling each one of these necklaces for ten dollars a piece. And if I do that, I'll probably double my profits. So we'll see how that goes. If it doesn't go well, I won't buy them again. But you know me, I'm all about taking risks and finding out if it works. I will uh, update you guys soon on what we're doing next here to keep this place looking really nice and get it up and going. Talk to you soon. Okay, so what is up guys? It is still day one here at the Rage Room. We've had two people walk in, none of which were actual customers. One of them came in and they donated some stuff to the Rage Room for us to try to smash or sell, uh, which was kind of cool. And the other person that stopped by was the um, was the mailman or the mail woman in this case. She dropped off our keys for the mailbox and we actually received our Google confirmation code so we can open up our Google My Business. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that code put in today uh, so that people can find us on Google a lot easier, find this location, come here, shop, rage out, maybe do some hydro painting. Um, sorry for the echo in here. I know it's a bit echoey in this box, um, but I wanted to show you I just got done, oh, that's a weird bug crawling on the ground. Holy crap. Okay, I have no idea what that bug is. I'm not gonna touch it because it looks kind of scary. Um, but I, I got done pricing pretty much everything that is up front in the shop that I know how to price. There are a couple things I wanna look up on eBay and see what they're selling for so I can price accordingly. So I'm not selling stuff too expensive or, or, or too cheap. I want everything here to be the right price so someone comes in, sees the price, and just wants to buy the item if they like it. Um, so now that I'm done with that, I actually bought these signs on Amazon. I got 10 of these corrugated plastic signs, and as you can see, there's nothing on them. Right now, I am currently printing off some vinyl. I'm printing off uh, Rage Room, Open Now. I'm printing off Come Have a Smashing Good Time. Um, I'm also printing off high-end resale store now open and I'm gonna put all these signs in a row probably 10 20 maybe 30 feet from each other so as people are driving down the road they see several signs and both sides will be vinyled up so no matter which way they're driving excuse me I'm getting a phone call see who this is I'm expecting a call from Mission Side Hustle today and this is not him this is my dad give me a second What's up, Daddy-o? And I'm back. Sorry about that, I had to answer the phone call from my dad and then I had another phone call from one of my employees and uh, that took about 30 to 45 minutes. So here we are, I don't know where I left off. I told you that I got these signs from Amazon and I was gonna be printing out my vinyl uh, to put on these signs and then they came with uh, 10 of the metal stakes as well. So what I'm gonna do right now is basically go in there get all my vinyl printed off, get it prepped and ready, and then I'm gonna stick it on this uh, these signs. And I, my hopes are to have these signs out in the front um, next to the road by the end of the day. So let's go ahead and get started on that, guys. I appreciate you if you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have subscribed and you haven't shared my video, please hit the share button on this video. Tell your mother, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, whoever, all your friends, to subscribe to my channel so that they can be entertained or learn or just watch my videos if they're bored sitting on the couch. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. So real quick guys, I took a pause on printing my vinyl because I went out to the mailbox after we received our keys for the mailbox today and we got our Google My Business code. I'm not gonna show you my code because that would be crazy. But uh, this is what they send you in the mail, guys. It basically looks like this, and you open it up, and it gives you instructions. The instructions are right here. It's super simple. You sign into your Google My Business, you put the code in, and you push verify. And bada bing, bada boom, you show up on Google after they review your account, and then people can start seeing you on Google Maps. So this is super cool. If you guys have never done a Google My Business, this is one of the best free ways to advertise your business online. Google is literally the largest search engine in the world. So why wouldn't you use what they offer for free 
to boost your business, to boost your business visibility. Anyway, anywho, I just wanted to show that to you guys. I'm gonna get back to doing my vinyl now. We got some Mr. Beast playing on the TV. Cause my son loves Mr. Beast and so do I. Speaking of that, I got a Mr. Beast sweater coming in soon. Super excited. Smash that like button if you guys like Mr. Beast too. Cause I know you do. Well, here it is guys. We are nearing the end of day one here at the Rage Room. And my kids got dirt all over this beautiful couch. Crazy kids. But anyway, we're nearing the day guys. Let's see what time it is. It's 6.20 right now. Man, there's dirt all over this couch. I'm sorry. Just have to, I have to conquer my OCD here for a second. All right, got the couch cleared off. Dirt all over it. Six, uh, 6.20. And we have about an hour and 40 minutes. I'll probably stay till 10 tonight, so maybe another uh, three, four hours here. But uh, unfortunately, I, I don't have any good news for today. Um, the whole day, guys, we had two people come in, and I think I told you this earlier. One of them was the mail person, and the other one was someone dropping off some stuff for donation. Uh, I was able to make a few signs today. But literally, we have one computer here, so every time I took the computer to hook it up to my vinyl cutter, the phone started ringing for <laughs> ringing for the uh, junk removal side of things. So I would have to, you know, turn back around with the computer, run over there, answer it, you know, put up, put the job in the system. So I mean, I guess that's some good news. I sold a few jobs and a few dumpsters today over the uh, phone for the junk removal business. So yeah, I guess that's some um, pretty good news. Uh, let me zoom in here. A little bit so you guys can see me a little closer but uh, as far as the rage room and the the shop side of things we we didn't have anybody come in uh, we opened at five o'clock I was expecting people to kind of start showing up around five o'clock and maybe this is our fault because you know today's Thursday and we've been advertising a grand opening for Saturday which, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of businesses, they'll do a soft opening and then they'll have a grand opening on like a weekend or, or a day where people can really show up. So that's what we did. Today is Thursday. We did our soft opening and I don't know if that was a mistake or not because nobody showed up today. We've been here all day long and the only thing I've done was sell jobs just like I would be doing at our home office if I was there. And uh, also I made a couple signs. I made uh, a couple signs that are out there right now and it says um, Rage Room now open and it has a nice big red arrow and the sign is about this big. You can see this one says Road Rage question mark take it out here and then um, you know it's going to be right next to the sign that says Rage Room now open and the other side says the same thing. So I vinyled uh, three signs up today and man, you, you'd be surprised how long it takes to actually print out the vinyl, uh, peel the vinyl off around your, your uh, lettering, and then you have to put your transfer paper on, and then you have to transfer it over to the sign, and then you have to do both sides of the sign. Each sign, um, in the middle of you know, taking care of my kids and answering the phone, and maybe you know, eating some lunch, each sign took like an average of an hour to an hour and 30 minutes, which, um, you know, it's a lot of time. It's crazy. So I got three signs done today and they look good and uh, I'm happy with them but like I said we, we got no business today. No business in the rage room and I, I can't lie that's kind of uh, it's kind of disappointing you know. It is what it is but this is our first day and like I said I probably made a mistake by doing the grand opening you know on Saturday. And, uh, and just doing a soft opening today. Maybe people were confused and they didn't, they didn't realize that we're gonna be open today as well. Um, I'm actually right now working on a flyer for the Rage Room, so I don't have any cards or flyers, which is probably another mistake on my part. I was so busy getting you know, the Rage Room 
built out and getting the shelves in here and, and all the product in here and making sure the storefront was nice and, and the rage room was set. We've been picking up beer bottles, liquor bottles from all of our local bars. And uh, thank you to all of the local people that watch my YouTube channel and have been contributing all your, your bottles and actually saving the bottles instead of throwing them in the trash for us. I really do appreciate that. So that's really cool. You know, a lot of the bars around here are just taking the bottles, putting them in boxes or in bins that I provided them, which is awesome. Uh, it helps us out. And I know when we do start raging, we have thousands of bottles here. We're ready, guys. We have furniture. We have mirrors. We've got, we've got all kinds of things to smash. So that's not the issue. We are prepared if we do get rocked. Um, I'm just uh, wondering if Saturday we're actually going to get rocked. Tomorrow's Friday and we're going to have another day of you know being here. I think I'm going to show up between like 10 and 12 instead of 8 a.m. Because I don't expect many people to show up between 8 and, and 12 p.m. Uh, to come and buy things from the shop. And we don't have our hydro painting side of things completely done and ready yet. So I don't expect anybody to show up for that either. But uh, yeah, first day guys. I would I would call it a bust. So um, if you're if you're watching this video still, please do me a favor, hit that like button, help that YouTube algorithm, at least help this YouTube video boost up further in the um, in the algorithm for me, and uh, and make this you know a good video on YouTube. So yeah, day one, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching through the video. That's pretty much it, and uh, I'm out of here. I'll see you later.